الصيام وأقل مصعدا أهلا وخلا لته في كل حين بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Thank you for joining us for another edition in Serenity and Salah Today is a very, inshallah, important clip We're going to begin with Surah Al-Fatiha And Alhamdulillah, Surah Al-Fatiha is one of the greatest surahs in the Qur'an One that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to recite before, during every single prayer and every single rak'ah And there's a reason for that And if you understand the meanings of Surah Al-Fatiha And your heart is connected and you have an emotional response to Surah Al-Fatiha Then you will love it You know, once, uh, for example, Shaykh uh, Shuraim in Mecca was reciting the surah and he began to cry and you know that clip is very famous, I think it's on YouTube or something, but a brother was showing it to me and then he was asking me, he said, why is he crying? I mean, why is he weeping? He was reciting Surah Al-Fatiha and in the middle he just began weeping. And my friend's like, why is he weeping? I said, SubhanAllah, we almost, we shut off our brains when the Imam is reciting Surah Al-Fatiha as though, you know, it's just this, uh, this automatic thing that he recites. And then some of us maybe turn it on after he finishes Al-Fatiha and he begins to recite other surahs. But there's a reason why Surah Al-Fatiha is always recited. Because it's extremely important. Because it's extremely beautiful. Because it's the only surah that we know. We know the response to Allah to us while we're reciting it. And we're going to speak about that later after a few videos, inshallah. But today we want to speak about the first statement you make. You know, you come in prayer, you say, Allahu Akbar. You know, you say, A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Rajeem. You say, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. And then you begin with Surah Al-Fatiha. And you begin and you say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. That Alhamdulillah, that all praise belongs to Allah, Rabbil Alameen, the Lord of all the, wor the world or the creation of the universe. Inshallah, we want to go deeper into these meanings. Alhamdulillah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Alhamdulillah, tamla'u al-mizan. That indeed, Alhamdulillah fills the scales. Meaning that you can meet Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala on the Day of Judgment and you find your scale of good deeds is huge, is full. Why? Because you said Alhamdulillah and it came from your heart. What is Alhamdulillah? Alhamdulillah is to establish and to recognize and to attribute and to praise Allah for all His great attributes. That is what Alhamdulillah, to attribute the great, beautiful attributes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so the question that you need to be asking yourself, you know, we translate Alhamdulillah as all praise belongs to you, O Allah. But the real question in your mind, and the question that you should be reflecting upon and thinking upon, your heart should be circling around, is the question of why does all the praise belong to Allah? Why does all the praise belong to Allah? Not a challenging question, but a question of why does it belong to Allah? So reflect upon it and think about it. All praise belongs to Allah, the most perfect and complete and beautiful praise belongs to Allah because He's the most merciful. And there is nobody who has His mercy other than Him. There's no one who is most merciful other than Him. Because He is the most forgiving and there's no one who is the most forgiving other than Him. Because He is the most powerful and there's no one who is more powerful than Him. And so you think about the great names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the beautiful ways that Allah azza wa deals with you. And you remember His glorious attributes and while you're saying Alhamdulillah, so that when you say Alhamdulillah, the most perfect and complete uh, praise belongs to you, O Allah. You know and you understand what it is you're speaking about. You know the beautiful names and the attributes of Allah, and you're thinking about that while you're praising Him, Subhanahu wa Taala. And so now you know why Alhamdulillah fills the scales. You know why Alhamdulillah tamla al mizan. You know why it fills the scales on the day of judgment. Meaning you can meet Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and all of a sudden you see a tremendous amount, mountains and mountains of good deeds, mountains and mountains of righteous actions, mountains and mountains of rewards. And you said, "Where did this all come from?" And it came from you saying Alhamdulillah. It came from your tongue just saying Alhamdulillah. Why? Because your heart was connected to Allah while you were saying it. Because your heart was thinking, contemplating, reflecting upon the greatness of Allah and His attributes. So your whole body was engaged in the worship of Allah while you stood up and said, Alhamdulillah. This is the beauty of Alhamdulillah. This is the beauty of recognizing the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why Allah azza wa jal connected Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Al Alhamdulillah with Rabbil Alameen. This is why Allah connected the praise of, of Allah who is the most perfect, the most complete with the fact that He is the Lord of all creation. Because all praise belongs to Allah. Why? Because He is the Lord of all creation. He is the Lord. He is the Rabb of Al Alameen. Rabb means, you know, we would say in Arabic, you know, Rabbi Ayyalu, that person, that man is, you know, uh, raising his kids. He's Rabb of his kids. He's raising his kids. What does that mean? It means he's raising them and he's protecting them and he's nourishing them and he's sustaining them. 
And this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us. So when you say Alhamdulillah, Allah immediately reminds you why you're saying Alhamdulillah. He's reminding you why you're saying all praise and the most complete and perfect praise belongs to Allah because He is the Rabb of Al-Alameen, because He is the Lord, He is the Rabb of all the Alameen, He is the one who nourishes us all and protects us all and is merciful with us all and nourishes us and raises, raises us and causes us to grow and to develop and blesses us with guidance. All of this is from the meaning that Allah is the Rabb of Al-Alameen. And this is why you understand why you say Alhamdulillah because He is Rabb Al-Alameen. And the two meanings go together and they fit together very, very perfectly and very beautifully. And so Alhamdulillah Al-Alameen, you know, we say Rabb Al-Alameen. Uh, Allah is the, the Lord of Al-Alameen. What is Al-Alameen? It's translated usually, you know, Lord of the Universe. But really, Alameen is a plural word, word. So you're really saying, you know, the Lord of the universes or the Lord of the worlds. You know, it's in plural. And so Allah is the Lord of the human world. And He is the Lord and Creator and Nourisher and Provider of the spirit world. And He is the Lord and Creator and Provider of, you know, the animal world and all the different species that are there. And the different organisms that exist that we never see and don't even know of. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Lord of them. And He's the Lord of every creation, the ones that we know and do not know. Allah Azza wa Jal is the Lord of all these different worlds, all these different existences that some of them we know of and some of them, them we don't. And this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, all praise, the most perfect, complete, perfect praise belongs to Allah, the Lord of all the creation. Now you understand the meaning, you understand why it comes together and why it's so beautiful. And indeed the scholar said, you know, uh, for example, Prophet Musa alayhi salam, you know, he understood how powerful and beautiful and overwhelming saying Alhamdulillah is. And why it's so beautiful and amazing. So when he used to say Alhamdulillah, he said, Ya Rabbi, كيف أحمدك وحمدي لك شكرا يستحق الحمد. He said, Oh Allah, how can I you know, thank you and praise you when my praising itself requires me to be thankful and requires me to thank you? Now, how can I thank you when my thanking itself requires me to thank you? And this is understanding the greatness of the thanking of Allah. And this is why the scholars have said that when you say Alhamdulillah over something that Allah has given you, your act and ability of saying Alhamdulillah is greater than whatever Allah has given you. And so if Allah gives you a great car and you say Alhamdulillah for this car, your act of saying Alhamdulillah is greater in the sight of Allah, is more righteous and is greater than, than that car itself. And if Allah has given you a good family, a good, good husband, or a good wife, or good children, or a good job, or a good career, and you say Alhamdulillah for it, your act of saying Alhamdulillah is greater than whatever it is that Allah has given you. Alhamdulillah, tamla al mizan. Indeed, Alhamdulillah will fill your scales. You'll meet Allah, and there will be a tremendous amount of good rewards. Jazakumullah khayrun. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.